My name is Mary McCann, and I am a founding member of the Atlantic Theatre Company with David Mamet and Bill Macy, William H. Macy, and I've been working with the company ever since. This summer is the 25th anniversary of the school, and in 19, from 1983 to 1985, a group of us from NYU studied with David and Bill, and they taught us this new technique that they formed called practical aesthetics, which is what we continue to teach. The technique itself, um, is based on the later writings of Stanislavski and, on, um, and he heavily influenced by David's work with Sanford Meisner. But m even more importantly is what they're doing. What they're doing indicated the relationship, right? We strive to create the illusion of character through um, the action that the actor will play. And the technique is broken down into three parts, which is what is the character literally doing on the page? What does the character want from the other person in the scene? And then we say, what's the objective? What am I, the actor, going to play to create the illusion of the character in the scene to fulfill the story? And then we have an as if, what is it like to me? Character does not exist. Character is something that we play on stage. Character, as it, as it is, exists on the page. So you're going to look at the other person. You're going to talk to them as if they're the person you're as if. But they're not. They're right there. So you're going to deal with what they're giving you. Uh, you can't talk when the other person is talking, but when, if they ever take a break, whether or not they're in the middle of a sentence, you jump in. Then the other part of the technique is broken down into the moment-to-moment -moment work. And um, we do a variation of the Meisner repetition exercise, but it's all about uh, working on different exercised, exercises to figure out what is the truth of the moment between the two people so that the communication is based on that truth. Please. Paul, you want to, you know you want to, you see, you want to, just quit. The work no. we do is, is really a diagnostic of trying to figure out what our job is in that role. And so we're, we stay away from sort of, um, you know, high concept. How can I turn this into something other than what the playwright intended, which is a whole other, you know, way of working. Because... You, you, I, I mean, I can't like just look at the Romeo and Juliet scene and say, that's a love story. I need to play it like a love story. And that's why when you look at scenes, you never want to play your idea of the scene, your idea of what the character is. We feel is. that the emotional part of the work is essential and that emotion should come through the pursuit of the action. That if I am striving so hard to get something from you and I've analyzed the scene correctly at the point at which the tears need to come if I am striving for it based on my as if they will come. For the school one of the things that's changed this year is we've had the, an, our NYU program for many years we've had our conservatory program but now doing the teen program and the kids program um, these have really taken off and from the teen level through the NYU level it's an intensive program. One of the things that you'll hear over and over that we heard from Mamet Macy was create your own work, create your own work, don't wait for people to call you. And we did that and, and, um, you know, and here we are to tell the tale. And so that's what we encourage our students to do. So with the teen program this year we're doing um, a create your own theater week where we have a playwright who's come in, they've written a play in one week and they're going to be performing um, work from that play at the end of the week. So in the morning they're writing the, the play and working on the play. In the afternoon it's intensive acting exercises where they're learning the practical aesthetics technique um, <clears throat> and creating an ensemble. They're doing voice, speech, improvisation work. So the teens this week are doing that to create their own theater and next week they will do the same thing but to create their own film. And so they'll write a film through the course of the week and film it by the end of the week and, uh, you know, have it to take home. It's just fun because you're in New York City and you're where it all theater happens. There's no place else like New York. Yeah, I feel like what we're actually doing is just the start of something, and I'm really, really inspired to just go out there and try it, you know? Like, really, really get into it. We had, like, something different to do. We just got to touch on, like, every aspect of theater. All the teachers were really nice and really knew what they were talking about and really just down to earth. It's just fun to get in there and just really participate in everything that's going on.